Hello and welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator. Today we are going from Let's Jokey Finland to Sodenkila Finland in Pro Mods. I think I pronounced those correctly. I've already yet uh, picked up pipes from NS Oil and Let's Jokey. It's uh, in the morning, I think. Yep, just before 9 a.m. Let's take a look at the route. So we're going from Uchjoki to Sodenkila. It is 319 kilometers or about 200 miles. And we pass through Ivalo on the E75 or the 4. Maybe both. Not sure. Let's jump into the truck. This intro's already taken me 5 minutes, but because of all the pronunciations and I just kept messing up and it, it was it was good. It went well. Oh yes, and mods. Mods will be show. I will show pictures of mods at the end of the video after the outro. All right, here we go. Uh, lights. Okay. Parking brake is off. We are in gear. Automatic truck, of course. Oh, this is a Scania R580. I forgot to mention that in the intro with the normal roof. Now we don't have the tall cab as you can see there. And a lot of this stuff inside the cabin is mods and it's all one interior pack that I can't remember the name of. That'll show up in the uh, end of the video. All right, here we go. Before I get so distracted again. Turn right. Oh, what's happening? That bus I'm pretty sure is just backing up, wasn't it? Just... Turn right don't know. I don't know if it was may have been backing up, maybe not. I don't know. Either way. Looks like we'll be waiting a little bit of traffic, so I'll just come back when this nonsense is uh, sorted. Alright, we are on the move again. I had to, like, fly away in the dev cam and just get the traffic to despawn. There was a truck at this intersection up here that was broken and wouldn't move. Go I think straight. that was because I was sitting at that NS Oil for quite a while and Pro Mods is not you know, the stock map, so the AI doesn't work quite as well. And like, the AI works well, to be fair, but there are some instances like that where it's just like, if you sit in a place too long, the AI populates too much and they just can't do it. Alright, I think the GPS is the speed limit's 80 along here. I missed the sign and that's like so washed out I can barely see it, but I think it's 80. 80 kilometers. Alright, as we get on the road here, I have a beautiful sunrise, I think over there, yeah, over there. We have the Fall Grimes mod in as well. The pink sky would be the Grimes mod as well. It could be Pro Mods, I guess. Guess I'm not sure. Either way, nice sunrise and a little bit of fall colors with the Grimes mod. Hope everyone is doing well here as we set off on our journey. It's starting to cool off here where I am. The leaves are falling. It's definitely uh, fall slash autumn, whatever you prefer to call it. It's not really my favorite time of the year. I'm mean, sure the leaves look nice but when they change color, but those of us that have to pick them up that have massive trees in our yard and have to you know, pick them up, it's not fun. Sorry about the cut there. I have a cat sitting next to me and he was uh, causing a little bit of grief. I guess, yeah, I've never talked about that before, but I, well, I have a cat and it's my family's cat. I still live with my parents. His name is Alfred, even though he doesn't know it, but that's his name either way. We've only had them since the beginning of summer, like May, maybe? All right, yeah, if there's random cuts, there's just kind of silence. I'm looking at my list. I do have a couple things I want to talk about, so I just want to make sure that I uh, roll through everything. Oh yeah, so uh, in my last BMG video, the uh, chair racing and police chases, 
I've left a comment saying that uh, I would be doing the Warlight to Hanover run in this video. Well, obviously I'm not, and I did update that comment. But I decided not to because there was a sale on the SES maps and I was able to was able to take part of the sale and buy the Iberia DLC. So I was able, since I had all the maps for once, I decided to do load up pro mods. I've done a video in pro mods before, but I don't have pro mods very often. It's only whenever I have all the maps, which isn't very often. And no guarantees I'll do a pro mods video anytime soon again. There's a lake over here. An island maybe? I have no clue what lake that would be or what island that would be, but there is one. My plan actually, I like driving to this area. My plan is to go all the way through Iberia, to the Iberia DLC here in Pro Mods, just on my own, and in this case here, part of the drive is in a video. I'm not sure exactly where I'll stop in Iberia, probably go all the way to Portugal. Go straight. We've reached Ivalo. Just pulling in there. A lot of traffic. I feel like the, I have the traffic turned up to 2, I think, and that's probably a bit high for what this area would realistically be, but I'll just go with it. Cross the rotary. Second exit. Alright, and a roundabout. Alright, oh, yeah, alright, yeah, there we go. Gonna stop, yep, yeah, you are. Okay, good. Exit Loops. ahead. There we go. I changed editing programs two videos ago. The first video I edited with it was Exploring 0.26, another Beam and G video. I just I changed from Premiere Pro to DaVinci Resolve. And so far I have well, I mean I have a mixed feelings about DaVinci Resolve. It's I find it better for editing, but it's a lot more manual and requires a lot. Like, if you don't set it up just right, the whole thing just won't happen. And that's actually what happened with that first, that Exploring 0.26 video. I had to edit it twice, because I didn't set the frame rate correctly in the project, which, like, Premiere Pro will do that automatically. But DaVinci Resolve, you have to set the resolution, the frame rate, and if you have, want to have stereo audio, you have to set that as well. If you don't do any of that stuff before you add like video and audio files to the timeline, then you can't do it after. That stuff all has to be set before you add anything to the timeline. Which is what I didn't realize when I did that the first time, so I had to do it twice. But now that I know that, I'm sure I'll forget again at some point and I'll we'll mess up. But I'm trying to remember. So far Go since straight. then, I've had 100% success. But I already know that success will not last. And they have a lot of help documents, and there's a lot of videos and articles out there about DaVinci Resolve. It's been around for quite a while. And they just update it. I'm not sure if it's yearly or not, but they update it somewhat frequently. The little, like major updates, like we're currently on 18, DaVinci Resolve 18. I think that came out like six months ago. I don't think it's yearly, but I really have no idea. I think it's a better program than Premiere Pro if you want to take the time to learn it. But not everyone either wants to do all that manual, have all that manual control, needs it. I, mean, I don't really need it, but I don't mind it, so I'm just going to roll with it. But if you don't want to have to deal with all that, DaVinci Resolve is not for you, for sure. It's 90, but I'm not going to go faster than 80, assuming we even get to 80 here. I'm kind of just cruising along. I don't want to go too fast because I'm talking and checking my list and easy to get distracted. See, look at that, we're already going 87. Just in that four seconds. And now apparently it's 70? 80. 80. There we go, 80. 
Dude, the truck engine ended up being a lot quieter than I thought it would be here. And I don't know how loud it would be. I mean, this is a newer truck, so I would imagine that it would be quieter. I've seen videos of exterior and interior, and the engine on these is pretty quiet. So I don't know if this is too quiet or not. I know the exterior like wind noise is way too loud, but I could not change that. I don't know why. But it would not get quieter. So I I, I don't know. I'm not sure. So the sounds aren't quite mixed quite right. And I'll probably end up boosting the game audio in editing. So usually I do have to do that, but I try to mix all the sounds the best I can so that when I, that they're kind of even and about right, you know, for realism. And uh, you know, this time I'm not quite perfect. All right. Oh yeah, there's the, I'm just looking at my list again here. It's kind of like weaving around to the road. There's uh, Alaskan Truck Sim coming on December 7th. That's a game I've been watching for years. It's been in development for a long time. So it, there was a demo earlier this year, which I did not play. Never got around to it. But I'm definitely going to be playing that Alaskan Truck Sim. It comes out December 7th. Not sure exactly when I'm going to have a video on it. December is going to be kind of strange for me, so I'm not sure if there'll be any videos at all. I'd like to think that I'll get a video out in December on it, but it may not be until January. It's slower down probably. I think this is probably a town. But we're only a couple... My, we're, already, we're getting close. According to my uh, external tablet, we're only two IRL minutes from our destination. I find that it's not entirely accurate because it looks, it doesn't take traffic or it, take, it looks at the speed limit, looks at the distance, and takes those two things. It doesn't count for going slower around turns or traffic or anything. But, you know, it's a good estimate of uh, how far we are. I have a little app on my Android tablet, Sim Dashboard. If I remember, that's something I can link below as well. I've, used, I've been using it for a little while now, it's been quite useful. So I have one more points I want to uh, talk about, which is beam and G. After 100 yards, turn right. Alright, we're getting into town here. If you uh, are watching this around when it came out, you probably noticed there's two turn beam and G right. videos together. And if you've been watching for a little while, you know that I don't do that normally. But that's going to change. Because I've decided that Beam G is going to more or less become the After main series. Yards, and I'm going to primarily focus on Beam and G. I'm still going to do breakfast, left. trucking of various forms, and any other game that I find interesting. After 100 yards, turn so, I mean, left. really, it's the, video, turn it's the left. game I enjoy recording the most. So, that's kind of where I'm at with that. You have reached your destination. So where do I need to drop? Somewhere over there. Put the windows down. Should have gone the long way so I didn't have to make this turn. Oh, anyway, it just seems like shorter videos are really the thing that people want. Like the YouTube shorts. I don't really want short YouTube shorts aren't really anything I'm like super interested in. Maybe at some point. But I like doing these more long form videos. But either way, I'm gonna really try to keep every video I make around 20 minutes. There'll be some longer ones, some shorter ones. I maybe someday would like to do flight sim, and if I do that, that I don't see how I could keep that as 20 minutes. That'll almost certainly be longer. 
But I don't know if I'm going to do flight sim or not. I'm not sure. Because I mean, those would be super long. It would take a long time to edit. I just, at this point, don't have that kind of time. Right, well, we have reached our destination. We are in the spot. I didn't take a screenshot that entire drive. That sucks. I just realized that now. I spent the entire time yakking and didn't uh, take a screenshot or look at the scenery much. But anyway, let's deliver here. And take a nice uh, look at the truck one more time. Didn't even use the air horns. We got them. Again, it's kind of hard to tell, but this is plastic. This is not painted. I mean, this is a... Uh, the side skirts was obvious, but the bumper and stuff. At certain angles, it's hard to tell with the darker uh, paint job. I know uh, this video was kind of rambly, and I do realize that. I'll definitely be cutting out some stuff. But either way, I'd like to thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next video.